So first of all, Fort Park create whatever this is and call it their new logo. And now Universal could be opening a theme park in the UK. What the heck is going on? In case you've been living under a rock over the past 24 hours, there's been an eruption of excitement amongst UK enthusiasts. This is following an article and a video posted by a Universal journalism website and platform known as Orlando Park Stop, which suggests that Universal have purchased some lands in Bedford in the UK as they are looking to potentially bring a new Universal Park here. Now, first of all, when I saw this, I was skeptical. I was like, this could be another one of those things that's a load of rubbish, too good to be true. But it turns out that this website have done so much research, fair play to them, and backed this up with a load of financial data and an array of sources, along with the fact that the same registrar used for the other universal domain names has been used to purchase new universal domain names indicating a UK based website so that being .co.uk at the end of the web address. But it gets even crazier as today the Bedford Independent which is obviously a local news source for Bedford have published an article stating that Universal themselves have indeed confirmed that they have purchased land in Bedford. Now, a word of caution, they've said that nothing is confirmed yet, no details of the park as such yet are confirmed, and it's not confirmed to be happening by any means, but they've purchased this land because they are looking to build a park in the UK. The reason being that Bedford is in very close proximity to London, there's loads of transport links there, meaning it's got great international connections in terms of bringing tourists to the UK. Furthermore, there's no other Universal Resorts currently operating in Europe. It's also very close to Disneyland Paris, obviously in France, which would be great competition for them. Therefore, they feel Bedford could well be an ideal location for the next Universal Park. In terms of the site itself, we're looking at a 240 acre plot of land, which is actually pretty big. In terms of putting that into perspective, most of you watching have probably visited Blackpool Pleasure Beach and that is just over 40 acres in size. So we're looking at a plot of land that is about six times the size of Pleasure Beach, which is crazy really. Don't get me wrong, Alton Towers for example is significantly larger in size than 240 acres, but you've got to consider the fact that Half of that park doesn't even have rides in it. And Universal Parks are full to the brim with rides, so this is huge. I've also heard the number 500 acres floating around for the size of the land. However, as far as I'm aware, 240 is the confirmed size. But in terms of what we could actually see at the park, there are a lot of rumours floating about. There's rumours that we could be seeing a clone of the Incredible Hulk coaster at Universal's Islands of Adventure at Universal Orlando Resort. But then there's also rumours that we won't be seeing any clones rides from Universal Orlando at all, so that Universal can keep up their international tourism from the thousands of UK tourists that visit Universal Orlando each year and further speculation suggests that we could be seeing IPs such as Paddington and Lord of the Rings coming to the resort and that we could be seeing a lot of indoor attractions compared to the US resorts but similar to Universal Studios Beijing to accommodate for the wet weather we get in this country. However, Universal have stated that nothing is set in stone yet, therefore any or none of this could be true. The suggestions that Universal could begin construction of this resort in 2025 following the completion of Epic Universe at Universal Orlando Resort with an approximate opening date of 2030. However, again, this isn't confirmed and I'm not gonna go into any further details. If you do want further details, there's a link in the description to Orlando Park Stop's website with all the details they've found regarding this. However, I don't wanna just regurgitate that and I'm gonna instead spend the rest of this video sharing my thoughts on what this could mean for the UK theme park industry. Let's face it, over the past 10 or 15 years, 
investments at UK parks have been pretty pathetically sparse. And that is mainly due to the fact that Merlin Entertainments, a company that I've shared numerous thoughts on in previous videos, own the majority of the UK's parks. And this has meant there's been little to no competition amongst UK parks in recent years. However, Universal is arguably a more substantial company than Merlin. People will say that Merlin is second to Disney, but that simply isn't true. Universal is second to Disney in my eyes and provides a much better high quality experience than any of the Merlin parks. Therefore, if Universal suddenly turn up on the UK's doorstep, I think Merlin could be in trouble. They're going to need to do more than create bad logos in order to stay afloat. I doubt the likes of Gangster Granny the Ride, CBB's Land, Black Mirror Labyrinth and the world of Jumanji could compete with the likes of Paddington and Lord of the Rings. And if a clone of the Incredible Hulk coaster does come to the UK, then I can safely say, having ridden it myself, that it puts most of the coasters in this country to shame. And that includes you, Nemesis. <coughs> the fact of the matter is, the tables are going to be turned regarding competition in the UK theme park industry. And other parks are going to have to up their games if they want to continue to provide an offering that is going to attract visitors. On the bright side though, if this does happen and Merlin do go bankrupt, then maybe Cedar Fair could buy Fort Park. Then we'd be sorted for life. Nevertheless, I think a Universal Park in the UK would be something very positive for the theme park industry and it would significantly boost the quality of attractions in this country. You can tell I don't like Merlin, can't you? And I'd certainly love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. Now, as I briefly acknowledged before, Merlin don't own all of the major parks in the UK. What about Pleasure Beach? The future of that park is definitely very uncertain at the moment, so make sure you go and check out this video on the right side of your screen, where I share my season review of 2023 and experience the park in freezing conditions. And for more things theme park related in the UK, beyond make sure you click the icon in the center of your screen to subscribe